Chapter 81 Third Page of Knowledge Unlocked You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Sparrow Translations Editor Sparrow Translations Wu Tian he looked at Master Lin eagerly, hoping that he could help to save his daughter. He knew that Master Lin was considering it. It was a special scenario. It wasn't just a simple change of fate, it required the usage of his birth chart to suppress and change hers. If his birth chart wasn't stable enough, his life would be affected by hers. BDNV Finally, Lin Fan started to talk. You should know that this isn't a simple matter. Lin Fan said. Wu Tian he nodded and said, Master Lin, I know it's not simple. Lin Fan replied, your daughter's birth chart is extremely unfavorable. This is even more difficult than changing someone's fortune. I know all these. It's really difficult. Wu Tian he nodded and tried his luck again, hoping that it would convince Lin Fan. Furthermore, I am not related to you in any way. You understand that, right? Lin Fan was in a dilemma but he was trying to devise a plan to tempt Wu Tian he into doing something. Wu Tian he sighed, nodded and remained silent. He knew it was an outrageous request to ask someone that's unrelated to you to help you resolve such a difficult situation. Meanwhile, Wu Yulan looked really depressed. She finally knew the reason why her dad had come to Shanghai. Her birth chart stated that she would lead a difficult life in the second half of her life. Actually, she thought of just creating wonderful memories before committing suicide during the second half of her life. But she was afraid of death and she couldn't bear to leave this world. Fraud Tian finally understood what was going on. He looked at the beautiful lady and felt sorry for her for having such a sad fate. Wu Yulan hadn't met Lin Fan before, she had only scolded him once on Weibo before as she had thought that Lin Fan was an arrogant person. But she finally understood his powers. If not, her father wouldn't have been so polite to him, not to mention seek his help. Dad, this is my fate. Forget it. Let's not make things difficult for Master Lin. Wu Yulan said. Lin Fan had wanted to continue with his show but was interrupted by Wu Yulan. Then, he looked at her and said, I told you to remain silent and stand at the door. Please do not say anything. Wu Tian he looked at his daughter and said, listen to the master. Wu Yulan had just settled down and wasn't being emotional anymore but upon hearing that, she just sulked and sat there. Master, I am willing to use my entire fortune in exchange for happiness in the next half of my daughter's life. Wu Tian he said seriously. Lin Fan waved his arms and said, why would I want your money in assets? This isn't something that can be easily resolved by money. You should understand that. Wu Tian he was a little embarrassed and he said, I understand that. In his mind, he knew that it was a hopeless situation. Master Lin had already spoken, how could he still not understand what he was saying? He had studied metaphysics for his whole life and he had attained so much but was still helpless when it came to trying to save his daughter. In the end, everything that he had learned was useless. How sorrowful and miserable. Then, Wu Tian he lit up when he heard the following words from Master Lin. Master Lin took a sip of his tea and spoke slowly, but after all, the heavens are still good. She's still so young and she still has so much ahead of her. How could they make her pay for the sins that were committed by the previous generations? Don't you agree? Wu Tian he nodded repeatedly and said, yes, yes, they shouldn't hold her responsible for those sins. Lin Fan then asked, would it be a problem for you to live in Shanghai? No. Would it be a problem for you to work here for me? Lin Fan asked. No problem, Wu Tian he shook his head and said. Lin Fan was satisfied with his answers. Then, he asked, 9 to 5 daily with no breaks. No problem, right? No problem. Regardless of what you say, it's fine with me. Upon hearing so many questions, Wu Tian he wanted to stand up and kick Lin Fan in the ass. 
no pay, no insurance, no welfare benefits and whatever a typical employee has, you won't have it. You really have no problem with that. Lin Fan asked again to confirm. It was such a good deal for Lin Fan. Wu Tian he had real abilities and if he was to take over Lin Fan to read fortunes, that would be awesome. In future, he would be able to rest whenever he wanted unless he ran into something that needed to be resolved urgently. Wu Tian he anxiously said, Master Lin, I really have no problem with all of that. Thank you so much. Master Lin just wanted to give Wu Tian he hope, as long as Master Lin could help to change his daughter's life, he would agree to anything that Master Lin requested. Lin Fan looked towards Wu Yulan and said, You can speak now. Just like your dad, you have to work in the shop and help me to pour tea and sweep the floor. You shouldn't have any problem either, right? Wu Tian he didn't even wait for his daughter to reply, he immediately replied on her behalf, Master Lin, no problem. No problem at all. This has to be answered by your daughter. Lin Fan said. Wu Yulan stood outside the door and she didn't know what to say. She looked at her father's expression and saw the glimmer of hope in his eyes. At the same time, she also wanted to change her fate so that she could enjoy her life. I have no problem with that. Wu Yulan replied. Fraud Tian was extremely happy. In future, the shop wouldn't be so boring anymore. If he were to tell this to others, they would all be envious of him for having such company in a small shop like this. He was excited to have such a pretty colleague. Furthermore, the best fortune dot teller in Lian Zhou, Wu Tian he would also be his colleague. His reputation and status would definitely be on the rise. This kid didn't lie to me after all. Life is definitely better working for him. Lin Fan was in a good mood as he was about to enjoy his life in future. He wouldn't be so busy anymore. Then, he said, it's settled then. You can go back to Lien Zhou to pack up first before coming here in three days' time. Wu Tian he stood up and bowed to Lin Fan out of respect. Master Lin, thank you so much. I, Wu Tian he, mean what I say and I won't go back on my words. Lin Fan just nodded his head. All of a sudden, something happened unexpectedly. The second task has been completed. Encyclopedic points plus 20. How awesome. He could finally start on the third task since the second one had been completed. To become a renowned fortune dot teller, Master Lin. That task wasn't that difficult after all. It looked like the last thing he had to do was to obtain Wu Tian He's trust and admiration. Wu Tian He was the best fortune dot teller in Lian Zhou, the best in metaphysics. It was a great achievement to be recognized by someone like him. Lin Fan was ecstatic and Wu Tian He saw his expressions. Lin Fan had to hold his happiness in and wave goodbye to Wu Tian He and his daughter. You should go back to Lian Zhou and return soon. Wu Tian he wasn't any less excited than Lin Fan. He nodded and left with his daughter. After they had left, Lin Fan lied down on a bench and was looking forward to the next task. How awesome! Next time when I go out, I can boast to people around me. Fraud Tian said excitedly. Lin Fan smiled and then his expression suddenly changed. He thought of how stupid the encyclopedia was as it liked to expand on the specialties of people around him. If it had something to do with Fraud Tian again, he would be able to do anything to change it. Fraud, you. When Lin Fan wanted to ask Fraud Tian to go take a break outside, the encyclopedia flipped to the third page. The second page was flipped with a tremendous amount of force, as if it was signifying that the second task had been done and dusted. Unlocking the third page of knowledge. For it is. Lin Fan was dumbfounded when he heard the familiar voice of the encyclopedia. For it is again. Can't it use any other vocabulary? Chapter 82. Unintentionally powerful you are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator. Sparrow Translations Editor.
Sparrow Translations, Unlocking the Third Page of Knowledge For it's the third page of knowledge, a specialty of someone near the host will be chosen. Tian Han Ming worships the host greatly. Hence, the sub-class of Chinese martial arts will be unlocked. Ba Gua Zhang, Task As usual, become the famous Master Lin. Reward Encyclopedic points plus 20 and the ability to unlock the fourth page of knowledge, note. Since it is a small class of knowledge, there is no need to be involved in the profession. Lin Fan was speechless. Fraud Tian was a little nervous when he realized that Lin Fan looked like he wanted to slaughter him. What do you want? Fraud Tian asked weakly as he felt something was wrong. Lin Fan just lowered his head helplessly. He wondered why he had to meet someone like Fraud Tian. The first two missions already had something to do with him and it was already unbearable. Tell me honestly, besides Ba Gua Zhang, what else do you know? Lin Fan asked sternly as it involved his future. Fraud Tian took a while to process his question. He just smiled and said, you scared me. I thought you wanted to do something to me but you actually just wanted to ask this question. Besides Ba Gua Zhang, I am good at cooking too. Wait, just tell me what careers have you been in before? Lin Fan asked anxiously. Oh, then that's a long list. I've been a locksmith for half a year, a road cleaner for a year, a chef for two months, promoter, a masseuse. Fraud Tian went on to list more than ten different careers. Lin Fan almost fainted when he heard the list of careers. It was really unbearable. If the fourth mission also had something to do with Fraud Tian, wouldn't he be finished? Lin Fan had the urge to beat the SH asterisk T out of Fraud Tian but he decided not to. A sub dot classification of martial arts, Ba Gua Zhang. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? In order to become a renowned master, he had to really make it to the fighting arena or even start a clan of martial artists. It didn't seem too difficult to master Ba Gua Zhang, which was a sub dot classification of martial arts. But in such an era, the ability was practically useless. Then, Lin Fan looked at his encyclopedic points and realized that he already had 67 points. Not bad, but he had to continue working hard. Forget it, Ba Gua Zhang was not too bad. It allowed him become a martial arts expert in such a short time. In future, he wouldn't have to be afraid of the gangsters anymore. If the previous incident was to happen again, he could at least fight for himself. Nighttime he closed the shop and went home. Dil V. Ko on the Shanghai Culinary Delicacy discussion page. An active user of the forum wrote an article about Lin Fan's pancakes. The world's best scallion pancakes. You'll never know what you've been missing out on unless you try them personally. Egg tosser. That scared me. I thought this was written by some unreputable person. Ultimate killer. What a joke. How can a scallion pancake be so delicious? How much did the vendor pay the management team for this advertisement? Cool man, we're on earth and we're not playing a role dot playing game. We don't have magical ingredients here. But I'll give you credit for that expression. Sleepy fool. I didn't expect the management team to have tasted them personally. These scallion pancakes are indeed delicious and it can't be easily described. You'll remember the taste for life. I've only eaten them once and I haven't been chosen ever since. Ultimate killer. Sleepy fool, I'll give you a dollar for you to shut up. Sleepy fool replied, Ultimate killer, you haven't tried them yourself. You think it's bullsh asterisk t look at the pictures. It's the magic of Master Lin's scallion pancakes, everyone had the same reactions after eating them. Another picture surfaced. It was an aerial view of the extremely long queue outside the shop, it was simply unbelievable. Did you see that? Master Lin only sells 10 scallion pancakes daily and it's by balloting but there are so many people that want to eat the scallion pancakes, Sleepy Fool replied. Horizon's immortal soul. Is that even real? How could they be so delicious? 
I live pretty near the shop. Looks like I'll have to try my luck tomorrow. Sleepy fool replied to Horizon's immortal soul. Of course it's real. Good luck to you. I haven't been able to eat them for seven days in a row. I've saved up some money to buy them from the resellers. 666, hey, didn't expect the management team to recommend Master Lin's scallion pancakes. His scallion pancakes have nothing but compliments. It's heaven on earth indeed. Lin Fan didn't know that his scallion pancakes had created such a mess in the Shanghai Culinary Delicacy Forums. His reputation looked to be improving again. If Lin Fan knew about it, he probably wouldn't know whether to laugh or cry about it. The scallion pancake business was just a side business. At the underground car park. After Lin Fan parked his car, he hummed happily and walked towards the lift. Then, a series of honks could be heard which alerted Lin Fan. He quickly jumped backward. Then, a black car went past his face. Are you crazy? Are you rushing off to reincarnation? Lin Fan scolded. It was an underground car park and that driver still drove so quickly. The car didn't even stop. It just made a turn and parked. Lin Fan was extremely unhappy at the driver's arrogance. Then, he walked over to the car and slammed on the car boot. What's up, three muscular men came out of the car. They were at least 1.8 m tall and they were wearing black short dot sleeve t dot shirts, which revealed their gigantic muscles. They looked terrifying. Why did you drive so quickly in an underground car park like this? Do you know that you almost hit me? Lin Fan asked. The bald man arrogantly replied, aren't you standing here without a problem? Get lost. Lin Fan furrowed his brows unhappily and said, how could you still be so arrogant? Be asterisk starred, you must be asking for trouble. The bald man raised his hand as if he wanted to slap Lin Fan. Then, Lin Fan felt like his body was conditioned to have quick reflexes. He raised his hand as quick as a bolt of lightning and immediately slapped the man's face. Thud the man collapsed onto the ground. The left side of his face was swollen. Lin Fan was shocked at how powerful he had become. The other two men went ahead as well but Lin Fan felt like he had gotten some superpowers. With two slaps, the two men collapsed onto the ground as well. Lin Fan was in disbelief. In the past, his hands had no strength at all but they had become so powerful now. Lin Fan was feeling a little more courageous. Now that he was an expert, why should he be afraid? Ba Gua Zhang seemed to be really powerful. However, he didn't know if he was as good as Fraud Tian. The three men fearfully apologized, sorry, sorry. Lin Fan told them off, you better drive more carefully next time. You're fortunate that it was me today. If it was someone else, you might not even survive. Yes, yes. We will definitely drive carefully in future. Lin Fan didn't bother to argue with these three men. He was more interested in the sub-dot classification of the encyclopedia. It seemed that he had unintentionally become powerful. Chapter 83 The Flame War Emperor You Are Listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Translator Sparrow Translations Editor Sparrow Translations at Home Lin Fan lied down on his sofa and he was feeling extremely happy. Look at the house compared to the old one, this one's more suitable for a human to live in. There's a sofa, a TV, and a personal bathroom. What the hell did I live in before? Just a few square meters and it didn't even have a toilet. Its space only sufficed for a few steps. I didn't even have enough space to do his own things. He was finally able to turn his life around and he was slowly feeling the power of a petit bourgeois. On the TV, the host was reading a piece of news. China's top MMA artist, Han Lu, had a tough fight with the master of the Ba Gua Zhang, Master Lei Lei. Meanwhile, Lin Fan was studying the encyclopedia. Host Lin Fan Occupation Scallion Pancake Master, Fortune.Teller, 
master of Bagua Zhang mission. To become a renowned master Lin, incomplete, reward. Encyclopedic points plus 20 current encyclopedic points. 67 He was shocked at what was written on the third page of the encyclopedia. How could he explain such knowledge to others? Furthermore, even if he did try to explain, only a handful of people would understand him. Weibo Lin Fan realized that there was something wrong with Weibo. The number of people that were discussing the Han Lu Lei Lei fight was increasing at a rapid rate. Orange Crop This Han Lu is too amazing, he KO'd at Ed Lei Lei in just 11 seconds. The poor with no privilege. This guy is too d asterisk mn arrogant. Lei Lei has already said on his Weibo that he had no intention of harming the other party's life. Hence, he didn't use his inner power. If he had used it, he would definitely have thrashed Han Lu. Cabbage CC, stop with your blind talk, Han Lu is an awesome fighter who's beaten so many people. These people are no match for him, dot his Weibo suddenly became a discussion page for these people. Lin Fan was curious as to what was happening. Then, he did a search and saw a video. After which, he could only think of one thing. It was too cruel and violent. Han Lu KO that Ed Lei Lei so quickly and easily. If he was the one who was fighting Han Lu, he would definitely be slaughtered too. At first, when he had read the article, he had still been full of confidence. The third page of encyclopedic knowledge was Ba Gua Zhang. He thought that he could probably beat Han Lu with ease. However, after watching the video, he didn't even think of fighting Han Lu anymore. The punches would land directly onto his body and it would be extremely painful. It would probably be better to not do anything about it. Then, Lin Fan sent out a Weibo message to update his followers. He said, actually, I'm also a master of Ba Gua Zhang. In just a short moment, there was a reply. Shiman Novice. Master, you should stick to fortune. Telling. We shouldn't be involved with such barbaric people. Uncertain fate. Stop bragging. I admire you so much, Master Lin. Master, I recently went to my friend's salon to perm my hair and he colored my hair green. Is he telling me something by doing that? 666, your friend must be a true friend that's expressing his love for you. Lin Fan felt really helpless from looking at these comments. The third task was to become a renowned Master Lin. How would he go about doing that? Forget it. He thought that he shouldn't be worrying about things like this. Everything will be alright in the end. He wanted to just forget about fighting with others as he was afraid of pain. Just when Lin Fan wanted to switch off his phone to sleep, Autumn Sword Fish Killer made a sudden appearance. Autumn Sword Fish Killer. You're a master of Ba Gua Zhang. How shameless. Autumn Sword Fish Killer. Just one punch from Han Lu is sufficient to break your face. Everyone, prepare your melon seeds and water to watch the fight started by the reappearance of the Flame War Emperor. The Flame War Emperor with limitless saliva, who could destroy him. This fight will surely excite the ignorant commoners. Autumn Sword Fish Killer, sigh, forget it. Let life be as beautiful as summer flowers and death like autumn leaves. I did not lose to you, I just lost to harsh reality. 666, the chief of internet trolls loves to write idioms when an argument breaks out. Not everyone can have such a stinky attitude. The Flame War Emperor has an undeserved reputation. We should all clap to compliment him instead. Autumn Sword Fish Killer had become well. known on Lin Fan's Weibo. He had already been arguing with Lin Fan since the time when he only had less than 100 followers. Each battle was ruthless and unforgiving. Lin Fan felt that the comments made by the chief of internet trolls were weird and it looked as if he couldn't care any less. Lin Fan was hesitant but in the end, he sighed and just sent out a private message to him. Autumn Sword, you're a good guy. Let me read your fortune for you. The nurse that's always been taking care of you is fated to be your wife. Please confess your love for her tonight at 9 p.m. sharp. 
Believe me, your life will be changed instantly. Autumn Sword Fish Killer was still lying on his bed in the ward as he stared blankly at the ceiling, thinking about the Meng Meng incident which left him heartbroken. When he saw the message, his eyes lit up. He knew that Master Lin really had powers but after all, he was Chief Autumn Sword. He had never done something that made him regret in his life. He would never back down to things like that. If he decided to roast someone forever, he wouldn't change his mind just because the person does something for him. Autumn Sword just replied, get lost. Just these two words were enough to show Autumn Sword Fish Killer's attitude towards Lin Fan. He looked at the time on his phone and it was 8.30. Autumn Sword Fish Killer didn't bother about Weibo anymore. He opened up his Baidu search engine and looked for love confessions. After reading tons of such confessions, he was truly moved. Fraud, if my confession is a success today, I will flame you less in future. Autumn Sword Fish Killer had been well taken care of by a nurse in the hospital for the past few days. She was young, pretty and gentle. Her soft voice melted his heart whenever she spoke to him. At 9 p.m. sharp. The nurse helped Autumn Sword with his drip and smiled sweetly before leaving the room. When she left, Autumn Sword Fish Killer removed the needle. Although he was unhappy with Master Lin, based on past observations, he really was a capable fortune dot teller. From the looks of it, it looked like Master Lin really wanted to talk things over with him. Since he said that his life would be changed at 9 p.m., he wanted to take the opportunity and not miss it. As he thought of betting with her in future, Autumn Sword was a little excited. He opened the door and walked to the aisle of the wards. The bulky hospital attire did not stop him from what he had wanted to do. Jing Jing, stay there. Autumn Sword Fish Killer shouted at the door. Then, the quiet walkway became even quieter. Some of the nurses looked at him curiously. Jing Jing turned and looked at Autumn Sword Fish Killer. Clattering sounds Autumn Sword Fish Killer went down on one knee and said, Jing Jing, if you were the sky, I'd be the wind. The weather may change but my love for you will never change. I love you, Jing Jing. Will you be my girlfriend? Sounds of people vomiting and screaming for help upon hearing that, Jing Jing's face turned pale and she ran away without even looking back. Autumn Sword Fish Killer just stood there speechless, with his eyes and mouth opened wide. Then, he angrily went into his room and texted Lin Fan privately. F asterisk CK your mum, fraud. I, Autumn Sword Fish Killer will do nothing else but make life hell for you. Lin Fan was preparing to sleep and when he received the message, he replied instantly, if you can regain the powers of being the unbeatable flame war emperor, I will be gladly waiting. Autumn Sword Fish Killer replied. Your AF asterisk King Dog, just you wait. I will lead my army and crumble your Weibo. Autumn Sword Fish Killer was filled with determination and rage. He simply couldn't tolerate it anymore. But Lin Fan just laughed it off and thought that if he could help an aimless sheep like Autumn Sword to find his determination again, it would be worth it. If he didn't end up in hell, who else would? Regardless of whether he would end up in hell, he still had to sleep. Then, he switched off his phone and went to bed. Chapter 84 You can't reject a fellow townsman you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 84 You can't reject a fellow townsman translator. Sparrow Translations Editor Sparrow Translations The Next Day Cloud Street it was the start of a new day and everyone was feeling energized. Master Lin is here, Master Lin is here, a group of people surrounded Fraud Tian and shouted as they pointed at Master Lin. What's going on? Lin Fan was confused as to what was happening. It was early in the morning and everyone was behaving weirdly. A group of young men women surrounded Lin Fan and said, Master, quick, quick. I am running late for work. I have already gotten the number tag. I will carry him into the shop, Master Lin is walking too slowly. Fraud Tian finally sighed in relief. 
Master Lin had arrived too late. The number tags had all been given out and everyone was on brink of collapsing after waiting for so long. You're so slow, it's already 9.30. Fraud Tian complained. As Lin Fan was late, Fraud Tian had been surrounded by these people and he had to explain things to them nicely. Fraud Tian was on the brink of falling apart and if Lin Fan had come any later, perhaps he would really have collapsed to the ground. Lin Fan was a taken aback and replied, No way, I woke up at 8 a.m. and it's only 8.30 a.m. now. Fraud Tian rolled his eyes and said, Look at the time, it's already 9.30 a.m. Lin Fan took out his phone and showed everyone, Look, it's really only 8.30 a.m. The crowd was anxious. They took out their phones and waved them in front of Lin Fan and shouted together, Master, look, it's already 9.30. Then my phone's time must be wrong. Lin Fan was still in disbelief. He went to open his shop and prepare to entertain these customers. Guys, I'm sorry. I'll be done soon. With his well dot trained technique, the scallion pancakes were ready in no time. When he witnessed how happy these people were after eating his pancakes, he had a great sense of accomplishment. Those that didn't get a chance to buy the pancakes were disappointed, but they were still determined to get them and wanted to come back the next day. Lin Fan washed his hands. Then, he sat there and drank tea while using his phone. Come have a look at this video. Can you beat this guy? Lin Fan showed the viral video to Fraud Tian. Fraud Tian looked at the video with great interest and then he furrowed his brows several times. I can knock him down with one slap, Fraud Tian said it confidently after watching the video. If Lin Fan didn't know how Fraud Tian was like, he might have really believed him. Tell me the truth, Lin Fan said. Fraud Tian looked at Lin Fan, shook his head and said, it's hard to say. This guy has strength and speed. His punches are rapid and his lower body is stable. If I was 10 years younger, I would be at least 80% confident of beating him. But now, it's just a 50.50 chance. But this Master Lei Lei is a little too embarrassing, he got KO.ed in just 11 seconds. Why are you interested in this? This guy practices the real combat style and an average martial arts master can't match up to him. Lin Fan was a little curious. Is there really a difference? You mean a martial arts master really has no way to defeat him? Fraud Tian just laughed and said, This is definitely different, but it doesn't mean that it's impossible. If this were to happen one or two hundred years ago, dot okay, I mean perhaps seventy or eighty years ago, this guy would probably be beaten up. Why is it impossible now then? Lin Fan asked. It's not totally impossible. Look at the era we are living in right now. Martial arts has one of the simplest sequences of movements. If you practice a particular art, you can only say you have memorized it and not mastered it. If you really want to practice perfect martial arts, then you have to fight countless battles for the experience. But if you were to go fight with others now, you would probably end up in jail. That's the reason why it's difficult to be truly good at this. Fraud Tian said. Lin Fan laughed and said, Looks like you've experienced countless fights. Fraud Tian raised his eyebrows and said, Of course. I used to have six to seven hundred fights in a year. Even if you didn't know any martial arts, you would probably have come up with your own set of skills. Lin Fan was getting a little afraid so he decided that it was better to just be honest and not think about challenging these people just to gain popularity. Now that it was all said and done, how was he going to complete the third task? It was getting a little frustrating. Then, he opened up Baidu and asked a question. I practice some martial arts and I want to become a well-respected master. What should I do? In such an advanced age, Baidu was the way to go to answer any doubts and queries. As long as you had a question, Baidu would be able to give you a satisfactory answer. After he posted the question, Lin Fan opened up WeChat and just looked through it. Then, he received a message. Wu Huan Yu. Master, are you there? 
Lin Fan replied. Yes I am, BVEC after a short while, there was a reply again. Master, are you free the day after tomorrow? Excited emoji, could it be that this girl wants to go on a date? I haven't gone out to relax in a while. Lin Fan. Yes I'm free, what's up? Wu Huan Yu. There is a, the new voice, 24. person preliminary competition. If you have time, I would like you to come and have a look. Embarrassed emoji, awesome. Lin Fan hadn't really been paying attention to this, but he hadn't expected the competition to be so soon. Sure, no problem. I have to support you since you're a fellow townsman. What time is it? It starts at 7 p.m. Sure, I'll be there on time. After chatting, he went online to look up on the event. It was quite remarkable. The girl was getting pretty famous and had accumulated a number of fans already. Wang Ming Yang's team had also been pushing her on behind the scenes. However, things weren't at the climax yet. Perhaps it would only erupt when Wu Huan Yu won the first prize of the New Voice competition. Lin Fan believed that there would not be any hidden details or tricks since the four judges were all rather popular and famous in the music industry. Mr. Chi Ming, in particular, was a strong activist against corruption. There was a particular music program which had invited Mr. Chi Ming to be the judge. When he realized that there was corruption happening behind the scenes, he went to blow things up on Weibo during the grand finals. He flamed the program until every single hidden detail was exposed. The music program suffered extremely heavy losses. After that incident, any music program which invited Mr. Chi Ming had to be genuine, with no corruption at all. As to why Mr. Chi Ming was so fearless, it was out of the question. He had armed bodyguards beside him at all times. No one dared to touch him or even speak ill of him. Lin Fan switched on the TV and lied down with his eyes closed as he just listened to the program. Good day to all judges, I am Wu Huan Yu from Chengchou. Lin Fan nodded at her unique voice which sounded pretty good as well. It was logical that Wang Ming Yang wanted to lend her a helping hand. She was pretty and sweet and she had a beautiful voice. She was a really capable person and although she wasn't that popular yet, she would definitely be famous in future. Fraud Tian sat there and just nodded at the sound produced by the phone. He said, this girl sings really well. Lin Fan said, shut up. Fraud Tian just rolled his eyes but he really thought that she had a beautiful voice. Then, afternoon came. Lin Fan was starting to get busy again as fortune. Telling sessions had commenced. Lin Fan was still thinking about Wu Tian He as he wondered when he would return again. If he could be there earlier, Lin Fan would be able to relax more. Chapter 85 Run Away you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator. Sparrow Translations Editor. Sparrow Translations the next day, in the afternoon. Lin Fan wanted to buy a mobile phone as he was getting wealthier and he'd be a fool to not use the money. His old Apple iPhone was already outdated. Each time he used it, it would attract the attention of people. As a youngster, he had to take note of his clothing and phone. He didn't have a choice in the past, he had no money. He could only afford to spend $200 to $300 on that old iPhone. Anyway, it was still an Apple product. At Xiaomi's authorized retailer. Babe, how much is this phone? Lin Fan looked over the counter to view the phones. He was looking at one model which had a pretty good look and specifications. The girl smiled and said, Sir, this is the Xiaomi 6, 128GB. Selling price is $3,999 and it comes with $300 worth of free talking time. Alright, I'll take this one then. Give me the black model. Lin Fan replied. Now that he had a bit more money, he was more willing to spend it on things that he liked. Furthermore, he hadn't used the card that Wu Yun Gang gave yet. In any case, he didn't lack money, so he just used it on the phone. 
Sir, I'll delete some of the files on your phone as these are binding software files which take up a lot of space. What apps do you frequently use? I'll help you download them, the girl passionately said. That's good, I would like Weibo, WeChat, and QQ. Lin Fan smiled as he replied. All right, the girl nodded and proceeded to download the apps. Then, she transferred the SIM card from the old phone to the new phone. This Xiaomi shop had high standards and the customer service was good. After a while, he held the new phone in his hands. It had a good shape for a comfortable grip, which was better than his old iPhone. He paid for the phone and took the receipt before leaving the shop. After he casually shopped around the streets, he realized that there was a commotion and a large group of people was there. If one were to stand outside of the crowd and look inwards, he would probably not be able to see what's going on inside. Suddenly, the people started to move backward. It was a mess. Then, the group of people dispersed. Lin Fan saw that the old man in front of him had a bloody nose. He looked anxious but he was charging towards Lin Fan. Don't run. A sound emerged from behind the old man. Lin Fan was a little confused as to what was happening. The old man with the bloody nose ran past Lin Fan. Then, a muscular man behind the old man saw Lin Fan and shouted, move away. Lin Fan was a little shocked as the situation looked pretty violent. But this time, he felt that he shouldn't move aside. It was broad daylight and it looked like a fight was going to break out. Furthermore, it looked like he was going to beat up an old man. A normal man with a sense of justice wouldn't move aside and let that happen. As he witnessed what was about to happen, he slowly positioned his body and his left leg moved a step backward with his left palm closed. He pressed against the man's abdomen with his left hand and his right immediately struck the man on his collarbone. He dealt a heavy blow and moved his right leg back a little. His movements were light and collected as he moved a few steps backward. It was so natural and smooth and that frightened the man who wanted to beat up the old man. He was sweating profusely as he did a half kneel. It was extremely painful. Lin Fan hadn't expected himself to be so good at it. Then, he was about to say a few words to reprimand the man but he realized that there was a group of silhouettes that seemed to be charging towards him. D asterisk a minute. It was a gang fight. Lin Fan did not hesitate and he quickly fled the place. Mate, that's the best I can do to help you. But when Lin Fan fled the scene, the group of people came out with cameras. Where is he? Where's the man who was fighting earlier on, a big dot-bellied man said loudly. I think he ran away. D asterisk a minute, who was that guy? He actually dared to mess with Han Lu. Did you guys manage to record everything on video? How could we have been able to record it? Han Lu chased him all the way just to beat him up. We weren't able to run that fast. Then, the man who had a bloody nose saw what was happening and quickly went forward as he was satisfied. Kid, you're too arrogant. I had already used my inner powers to hurt you when you were pressing on me just now. That caused you to have internal injuries. You thought I ran out to escape from you. I was using my inner powers to waste your energy. Look at the man earlier, he just pushed you so simply and you couldn't take it. It's proof that your energy had been used up by my inner power. Master Xian Zhen, a master of Ba Gua Zhang explained calmly. He was shamelessly bragging, which left the crowd bewildered. He's bragging so much. I saw what was happening earlier, the young man was really good. He was familiar with his sequence of movements and didn't even pause. A step back, a push, a heavy blow and a jump. I can't possibly learn all these techniques. The man who was carrying a camera was feeling a little helpless for not capturing everything on film. It was potentially a piece of breaking news. They tried hard to obtain interesting news and hoped to be able to report big news but in their hearts, they wanted to help the national culture of Chinese martial arts attain a proper title. There were four main essences of Chinese culture. Martial arts, Chinese medicine, Beijing Opera, 
and calligraphy. Chinese medicine had become unreliable in the eyes of many people. If the ancestors were to know about this, they would probably jump out from their graves and beat some people up. They had spent their entire lives studying it and after all their hard work and time spent, they didn't even dare to call themselves masters. As for the current age, people deemed themselves as masters after less than 10 years of experience. Furthermore, they were causing a ruckus everywhere they went. Weren't they just blind and foolish? Who managed to record it? The leader with the big belly shouted at the crowd. The people were all stunned. Who would have recorded it? I managed to do it, a young man with colorfully dyed hair said. Let me see, the big dot bellied leader said as he went forward. Look, the young man played the video for him to see. The crowd also came over to look as they hadn't managed to see clearly earlier. Dot in the video. Han Lu rushed out and shouted, move away. The young man just stood there and suddenly dealt a blow to Han Lu, which made him collapse onto the ground. That, the big-bellied leader was secretly elated upon watching the video. Then, he grabbed the youngster and said, please send the video to me. I want a thousand dollars, the youngster said. Sure, no problem. It was going to be breaking news. They hadn't captured it on video but the passer.by had managed to. He would have agreed to the price even if it was $10,000 instead of $1,000. But they were wondering why the youngster in the video ran away. Also, it was just a random stranger, so it would be difficult to find him. Han Lu just sat on the floor with an unbearable pain in his collarbone. At the same time, he was also stunned. With his capabilities, even if the young man had struck his core, he shouldn't have been able to hurt. But he hadn't expected the outcome to be like this. Meanwhile, Lin Fan had already run miles away. When he realized that no one was chasing him, he sighed in relief. People are really violent nowadays. Just a dispute can start a gang fight so easily. Although I have mastered a martial art, I wouldn't have been able to beat so many people. What's more, they have weapons with them and even a huge video recorder. If they hit me with that, my head would definitely be split open. Chapter 86 I know who it is you are listening at novelfull.audio. Translator Sparrow Translations Editor Sparrow Translations Cloud Street In front of the Master Lin shop You bought a new phone. Fraud Tian sat there and looked at Lin Fan's phone with envy. Yeah, it's pretty good. Lin Fan smiled and said. Fraud Tian had also wanted a new phone but the money that he had saved was set aside for his funeral fund. Then, he just sighed, sigh, it's so good to have money. You can change your phone anytime you want. Lin Fan placed the phone down, smiled and said, the way you're talking feels like you're hinting at me for something. Don't complain about me treating you badly. Go get one for yourself and pass me the receipt. I'll pay for you. After hearing his words, Fraud Tian was both surprised and happy. Are you for real? If you don't believe me then forget it. I've already said my piece. Lin Fan said as he lowered his head to play with his phone again. Fraud Tian was extremely excited. You're such a good boss. I'll go buy a new model now. No, just go at night instead. If you leave now, I won't be able to handle it if there are customers. Lin Fan said. Sure, Fraud Tian said as he nodded. On WeChat. Hua Han. Little boss, if you still don't reply me, you're going to lose me completely. Lin Fan smiled at her message and just replied with a blank emoji. Hua Han replied, we're already so close to each other. Do I still have to queue up for the scallion pancakes? I'm overseas now and I'll be back in a few days. So this girl had gone overseas, no wonder there hadn't been even a sight of her these days. But Lin Fan was firm on his rules. How could he let a girl break the rules just like that? Lin Fan replied, if you want to eat the scallion pancakes, please queue up. Hua Han was speechless. The next day. 
a video went viral on the internet. China's best MMA artist, Han Lu, got defeated by a mysterious youngster yesterday afternoon. Who exactly is this mysterious youngster? How could he be so powerful? There's a pro amongst us. This mysterious youngster taught Han Lu a lesson about humility. Han Lu claims that he wasn't prepared and the man secretly attacked him and caught him off guard. Master Xi Enjin used his internal powers to drain Han Lu of his strength. This was advantageous to the mysterious youngster. Meanwhile, on Weibo's forums, the best national MMA artist, Han Lu, vowed to fight the false claims against him during the fight with Master Xi Enjin, which only lasted for 11 seconds. It was actually a good thing to clear the air about the claims made against him, but it was regarding Master Xi Enjin who was an important figure in the nation's culture. Furthermore, Han Lu was arrogant and he even wanted to challenge the president of the Chinese Martial Arts Association. The president was already an old man and if they really were to have a fight, who knew if he would be able to make it out alive. He was an old and frail man. Even if he really had the capabilities, he wouldn't be able to defeat the tall and muscular Han Lu. Perhaps he would even die in the arena. But the Chinese netizens all supported Chinese martial arts and believed that it was really existent. But until now, nobody had been able to stand out and defeat Han Lu, which made them a little uncomfortable. But today's video made them extremely excited about the prospects of a fight. Meteor Garden, that felt good, it felt so good to see Han Lu get beaten. I have watched this video for more than 20 times. This brother has true capabilities and although it was rather simple, he did it so smoothly and easily. There weren't any unnecessary movements, especially when he pressed his hand against Han Lu's stomach. It takes a special kind of skill to do that. It's not something that anyone can do. Happy strawberries. To the one above, you're so good at praising the youngster. Now he sounds like a god. Huang Guoli said, Meteor Garden is right. I am still pretty fit, but when my son charges towards me, I can't possibly stop him with just a finger. The force is strong enough to push me a few steps backward. The force that is produced by a trained and skilled person like Han Lu should be even greater and it'd be harder to withstand. To the person above, that makes sense. That was pretty I dot opening. This is getting intense. Han Lu is extremely dissatisfied and he keeps thinking that it was because he wasn't ready. Master Xi Enjin has spoken about it. It was because he had drained Han Lu's inner energy, so this youngster got it easy. That might not be true, did you guys even watch the video? Master Xi Enjin got beaten up until his face started to swell and bleed. How could it be? On Han Lu's Weibo. I hope this person can contact me. I would like to have a fair battle with him. I can accept any rules. The netizens were all discussing as well. Does any one of you know who this man is? The video was quite clear but if we are to try and find a person in such a large country, it would be nearly impossible. He just left after beating Han Lu up. How exciting. D asterisk MNU. Just a random youngster can beat you up like that and you claim to be a pro. Master Xi Enjin was feeling great. Although he had been badly beaten up by Han Lu, he felt like he was part of the reason why Han Lu had been beaten. On Master Xi Enjin's Weibo. This youngster has some skills indeed. But everything was built on my powers. If I hadn't drained his inner power, the youngster wouldn't have been able to beat him so easily. 666, I admire you so much for talking bullsh asterisk t so openly as if you were the one who beat him up. Master Xi Enjin is a master of Ba Gua Zhang but his Ba Gua Zhang is not as good as his ability to spout nonsense. I've seen the video of the fight between Han Lu and you. Even Master Lei Lei could do better than you. You were already on the floor after three seconds. You rolled around like a carp and then you ran away. Please do not humiliate Master Xi Enjin, his abilities are not to be doubted. At the Chinese Martial Arts Association. 
most of the people were afraid of challenging Han Lu but they had become less worried. Everyone in the office was jumping for joy. Good. That was a good hit. This youngster is really something. This Han Lu is too arrogant. He thinks he's capable enough and actually wanted to challenge our president. Who does he think he is? Do any one of you know this youngster? He's got real potential. We should recruit him. We don't even know who he is, how do we recruit him? Although he only used a few moves, his technique was amazing. It's not something that can be easily achieved even with 20 years of experience. An elder in the association started to speak, we have to find him no matter what. Our association is lacking talented new blood just like him. In a Douyu broadcast room. Zhao Zhongyang had just had his operation and he was recovering on his bed as he did a live stream. Brother Yang, did you see how Han Lu got KO.ed by a mysterious man yesterday? What are your thoughts? This video has become really viral. It's the most searched on the internet. Who the hell said our Chinese martial arts have no use? Stop trying to bring that up, Han Lu already said that it was a fake battle. Fake my a asterisk s. You actually believed in his words. He wants to challenge the president of the Chinese Martial Arts Association. What if he beats the president? Wouldn't it be saying that Chinese martial arts are a hoax? He's using this to push himself up the social ladder. That's scheming the asterisk starred. That's logical too, everyone's searching for the man in the video but we don't even know if they've found the person or not. Zhao Zhongyang just lied on his bed in the ward and did his live stream. After which, he did a search out of curiosity and when he saw the man in the video, he was shocked beyond words. D asterisk MN, I know who this person is. Zhao Zhongyang exclaimed. The fans listened more attentively to his broadcast and asked, Who is it, Brother Yang? Yeah, Brother Yang, just tell us who it is. I've donated a rocket, please tell us. Zhao Zhongyang looked more closely and said, He is. Master Lin. Chapter 87. The truth can't be hidden anymore. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 87. The truth can't be hidden anymore. Translator. Sparrow Translations Editor. Sparrow Translations The broadcast room was in an uproar. How could it be Master Lin? He looks so weak and fragile. There's no way he could be so strong. Brother Yang, did you get it wrong? Who is this Master Lin? You're clearly new here, to not even know who Master Lin is. Master Lin is our brother Yang's savior. I don't believe it. You're telling me that this fortune teller is a martial arts expert. I won't believe it even if you beat me to death. Cloud Street. Lin Fan was lying down leisurely, without any idea of what was going on on the internet. The phone rang. It was a call from Big Tree. He answered. Young Fan. Big Tree. You are way too awesome. Why is that? I didn't do anything. Stop pretending. That video on the internet. That's you in the video, isn't it? What video? I didn't take any videos. See for yourself. It's the hottest video on Weibo now. I'm 100% sure it's you. How strange. Alright, I'll take a look. Lin Fan hung up and just as he was about to open his Weibo, another call came. It was a call from Wang Mingyang. Brother, you have been hiding your strength. What the heck is going on? And why would you say that? Do you really not know? Or are you just pretending? It's gone viral on the internet. With one look at that video, I saw your face. Thank God you went easy that time, otherwise, I would be dead. Are you okay? I don't understand what you're saying at all. That's enough, I'll go and see for myself. All right. Lin Fan hung up and he was confused. He hadn't been loafing about recently. This video couldn't possibly have anything to do with him. 
It must have been someone else who looked like him. It must have been a mistake. He opened his Weibo and looked at the top trending video. China's top MMA fighter Han Lu gets KO.ed by a mysterious youngster with one glance at this headline, Lin Fan thought that this clearly had nothing to do with him. He didn't even know who this Han Lu was, let alone did he fight with him. Just a misunderstanding. This must have been a misunderstanding. With a tap, he started the video without even looking at the caption. It was an edited video. In the beginning, there was nothing much to see. It was just a man who, within three seconds, got pinned to the ground and pounded on by another man. There was nothing wrong with this. As long as he wasn't blind, there was no way he would think that one of them was himself. Suddenly, the scene changed. It was outdoors now. At this moment, Lin Fan's mouth gaped open as he stared blankly at the screen. How could this be? In the video, Lin Fan saw himself just standing there as the man opposite him charged towards him. This scene was familiar. It was way too familiar. Wasn't this from yesterday, when he went to buy a phone? A rather old man was being chased and beaten. Filled with a sense of righteousness, he couldn't just stand idly by and watch, so he took down the attacker. In the end, when the attacker called his gang down, he had no choice but to flee. However, that video and that headline left Lin Fan bewildered. How could it be? A top MMA fighter couldn't have been beaten down by him with just a few hits. He looked at the comments below. F asterisk King Awesome. He's a true master. Please reveal yourself, master. Hurry and step out, master. Han Lu is looking for you and requesting a fair fight. If anyone has information on the master's identity, I'll pay $100 for it. Lin Fan then looked through his news feed. As he scrolled through, his heart started thumping uncontrollably. Han Lu. Requesting a fair and square match, Chinese Martial Arts Association. We hope this mysterious youngster will take the initiative to contact us. BDNVL.M After having seen these messages, Lin Fan silently closed his Weibo. This situation was unexpected. Stay calm. I have to stay calm. Right now, only Wang Ming Yang and Big Tree know that it's me. No one else would know. Still, Lin Fan couldn't stop worrying. He then opened his Weibo again. As long as his Weibo remained quiet and low dot profile, it would prove that he was safe. However, when he saw the comments below his Weibo page, he knew that he couldn't hide the truth. Master Lin, your F asterisk King Awesome. My God, he's amazing. Who would have thought that Master Lin is also a martial arts master? That was beautiful. Master Lin is the best in the world. Even that Han Lu took a beating from Master Lin. Are those reporters stupid? That's clearly Master Lin and they're still searching. Why hasn't anybody told them yet? I've told them. They don't believe it. Master Lin is a fortune teller and now he's involved with martial arts as well. Who would believe that? I have a picture of Master. I'll send a copy to those reporters right now. Master is just that great. The best in fortune dot telling, the best in making scallion pancakes, and now even the best in martial arts. He's F asterisk king incredible. However, in the comments, a certain ID kept appearing, flaming everybody else. It was none other than the Flame War Emperor, Autumn Sword Fish Killer. Autumn Sword Fish Killer. Seriously. This fraud is a martial arts master. Do you have any idea who Han Lu is? He could defeat three of you with one hand. What exactly happened to the Flame War Emperor? Why did his activity increase so much in the past two days? He must have taken a huge blow. His wife probably cheated on him. Autumn Sword Fish Killer. Your mom has been cheating. Don't F asterisk CK around with me. If you want to fight, then let's fight. I, Autumn Sword Fish Killer, am scared of no one. 
LOL, Autumn Sword Fish Killer has gone mad. Once Autumn Sword gets mad, bodies will start to pile up. We have to come and take a look at Autumn Sword Fish Killer on Master Lin's Weibo every day. It will be interesting. Since being mercilessly defeated by Lin Fan, Autumn Sword Fish Killer had left the hospital. He couldn't bear the shame of just idling in the hospital. Once he returned, the first thing he did was to start attacking Lin Fan's Weibo. In the past, Autumn Sword Fish Killer had been holding back, but on this day, he went all out. No matter what, he had to put down this F asterisk King Fraud. His Weibo had been invaded. It couldn't be kept a secret anymore. Lin Fan knew that in two days at most, his identity as that mysterious man in the video would be revealed to the masses. Once that happens, what would he do? Would he really have to have a showdown with that Han Lu? He had no fighting ability at all. If he were to face Han Lu, he would get beaten to a pulp. He was in no rush to complete the third task. Even if he took his time, he would complete it eventually. However, the current situation left Lin Fan helpless. He was already at the edge of the cliff. What's wrong? What's with the long face? Fraud Tian realized that Lin Fan was looking depressed, so he asked curiously. You wouldn't understand. Something bad just happened, Lin Fan shook his head and said. Huh, what could possibly happen have happened? Lin Fan sighed. Life is tough. Chapter 88 How is this possible? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. L.RG Translator. Sparrow Translations Editor. Sparrow Translations Chinese Martial Arts Association. Vice.President asked, Has he been found? There are just too many scammers. They just come here asking for $10,000. The only ones who didn't ask for money are those who said some unbelievable things. How so? Heh, they say that a fortune.teller is the mysterious man. Funny, ain't it? That really does sound funny. Why would someone with so much ability be a fortune.teller? Vice.president, keep searching. We have to draw him into the association no matter what. Sir, is it necessary to search like this? Yes, it is. I've watched this video at least a hundred times. Even though it's just a few seconds long, I can tell from it that this man knows true kung fu. This is a real talent. There's nobody in this association who can do something like that, the vice president answered firmly. That can't be. That's a little exaggerated. The association members wouldn't believe it. The vice president said, you don't understand. Such effective usage of Kung Fu in a real combat situation isn't something that can be achieved just through tough training, but it's something that is honed through experience and struggles. I understand. We'll keep searching. Meanwhile, the reporters. The reporters tasked with this job went straight to the internet and put up a reward for information. Anyone who provided legitimate information would be rewarded $10,000. Any news? There's news, but we're in the process of elimination. There are too many people that are just giving fake information for the reward. Everyone, work a little harder today. If we find him, I'll bring you guys for a good break. Long live the chief editor. Ha! Huh. Chief editor, come take a look, one of the workers called out. He instantly drew everyone's attention. Let me see. This picture was sent by an online friend. I just did a side dot by dot side comparison with the man in the video. The level of similarity is at least 90%. Zoom in, the worker zoomed in on the image, then placed it side dot by dot side with the video. Do a software testing of his face. We can't get this wrong. The testing is done. The level of similarity is at 95%. Quick. Ask your friend who this man is. We need first.hand information. The chief editor banged the table in excitement as he let out a wide smile. I'm asking. He doesn't seem to be online, said the worker. 
Keep asking. We must find out as soon as possible. Roger. A group of people was busy looking for Lin Fan at Cloud Street. Master Lin, you're really amazing. How could we not have noticed that you had such ability? That Han Lu is still asking for a challenge. Hasn't he taken enough of a beating? I've seen the video. It was absolutely ferocious. What are you all talking about? What was ferocious? Brother, could it be that you don't know? Nope, I don't. God d asterisk mn, it's about Han Lu. You really don't know. I really don't. Hurry up and spit it out. It's better if you check out Weibo News yourself. To not know such a viral piece of news, I've suddenly lost my respect for you. He couldn't even continue with his fortune. Telling. He was surrounded by a huge crowd. These days, news spread too quickly. Even a slight disturbance would stir up huge waves on Weibo. The townspeople consisted of many young people, as well as many middle. aged people who kept up with the latest news. These middle. aged people, in particular, were brought up in a world of Chinese martial art fables. Now that Chinese martial arts were made obsolete, they were unhappy. However, Master Lin had suddenly appeared out of nowhere and ferociously struck back. It was a dominant return of Chinese martial arts. This made them extremely excited. Lin Fan looked at the crowd and raised both his arms, if I told you that that wasn't me, would you believe me? No. All right. Lin Fan now knew that these people wouldn't believe him. He also didn't know who was the guy who shot the video. If only he knew who it was, Lin Fan would have given him an award for the best videographer for shooting his face so clearly. Let's not talk about this and continue with the fortune. Telling, said Lin Fan. The truth can't be hidden anymore. Since it's come to this, maybe it's better to just step up and fight. I'll just do it so they'll be satisfied. There's no point in keeping this up. The worst part was that Lin Fan was afraid of fighting. He knew nothing about the third page of the encyclopedia. If he were to challenge a professional fighter and get beaten up, he wouldn't know what to do. Fortune.telling can wait. Master, you have to tell us. How did you train your martial arts to such a high level? Are you accepting any disciples? I'm very serious. I won't cause any trouble for you. The crowd all had something to say. Lin Fan was left dumbfounded. This situation was scary. Eventually, after a tremendous effort, he finally managed to disperse this fiery group of people. However, he couldn't relax just yet. Fraud Tian came up to Lin Fan with a look of suspicion on his face. What have you done now, kid? Fraud Tian was very curious. Something wasn't right. The townsfolk didn't even want to have their fortunes read anymore. They were just surrounding this kid, asking him questions non-stop and they were all related to fighting too. Just by looking at this kid's physique, you would think that if he got into a fight, he would get beaten up half to death. I see some disdain in your eyes, said Lin Fan. You don't say. I wouldn't dare to talk about anything else but with regards to fighting, I'm sure that you're not any good, Fraud Tian sneered. Lin Fan opened the video on his phone, take a look. Fraud Tian laughed, sure, I'll take a look, but there's no way you can convince me. However, by the time Fraud Tian reached the end of the video, his expression had turned serious. He finished the video, then replayed it again. Then, he replayed it a second time. Fraud Tian was astonished. Then, a third time. Absolutely dumbfounded. A fourth time. He couldn't believe it. A fifth time. A grave expression appeared on his face. He replayed it for a total of ten times. Fraud Tian put the phone down and looked at Lin Fan with a face full of shock. That's you in the video. Lin Fan chuckled then grabbed the phone. With a smug face, he said, not too bad, eh. I didn't even use my full strength. The opponent was already down, 
so it was pointless. Fraud Tian stared blankly at Lin Fan. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he would never have believed it. Although the fighting only lasted a few seconds, just from these few seconds, you could tell that his ability was not average. Fraud Tian had watched the video a total of ten times. His final conclusion was that it was dot abnormal. He was clearly using the kicking technique of the Ba Gua Zhang, followed by a palm strike and finally, finishing with Pai Zhang Chop. Although it looked simple, to do it at such a level was not simple at all, especially against someone with such a strong physique who was in a charging motion. It should have been almost impossible to stop his momentum. When did you train to such a level? And, how is it even possible at this age? Lin Fan laughed, hee hee, this is called hiding one's true abilities. I'm not as stupid as to let you see through me. It can't be. If you were so strong, that time that why did you? Hee hee, you were there, weren't you? Against some small fries, if I were to raise my hand, do you think they would still be alive, said Lin Fan. Fraud Tian was shaken. He himself was a Ba Gua Zhang practitioner, but this kid was so much better than him. He had started training at the age of three and had been training for decades. He had taken countless beatings to achieve the strength and ability that he possessed. This kid is still so young, how is this possible? If Lin Fan knew what he was thinking, he would surely have an answer. Because you're so friendly to me, that's how I managed to pick up this skill. Chapter 89 Who would you pick? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Translator Sparrow Translations Editor Sparrow Translations 5 o'clock Shanghai Stadium The new voice was doing well. Its popularity had become widespread. It had very high ratings and it was constantly ranked in the top three among variety shows. This time, in particular, a craze had started among the viewers. Lin Fan had promised Wu Huanyu that he come to would watch her compete. Naturally, he arrived early. He looked at the entrance ticket in his hands. The seat was close to the front. It looked like this young lady had arranged a good seat for him. A call came. Wu Huan Yu asked, Master, have you reached? Lin Fan replied, I've reached. I'm at the car park. Wu Huan Yu replied, Then I'll come and find you. The competition only starts at 7. Don't. Just focus on your preparation. I don't want to affect your performance. Lin Fan had little interest in such a competition, but to Wu Huan Yu, this was a significant step in her life and she had to give her very best no matter what. Wu Huan Yu giggled into the phone, if Chief Wang hears that I let Master wait outside by himself, he would definitely give me a scolding. Lin Fan smiled, if he dares, I'll hammer him to death. Master, they're calling for me. After it ends tonight, I'll contact you, said Wu Huan Yu. All right, you take care of your own things and don't worry about me. Put on your best performance tonight and get into the top 12. Then, go to the finals and win. Lin Fan said. Wu Huan Yu laughed, thank you, master, for your kind words. After hanging up, Lin Fan removed his key, exited his car and walked out of the basement. The ground floor was big and spacious. There were many fans who were there early and each of them held a LED signboard in their hands. Although the singers were all new, they already had their own fan clubs. Their fan clubs were all there to show their support to their idols by cheering for them. A group of teenage boys and girls were gathered together, discussing their favorite contestants. This is nerve.racking. It's going to start soon. Out of 24 contestants, only 12 will be selected. Who knows if how how will be ko.ed. The new voice is really brilliant. There are so many contestants that sing so phenomenally. My favorite is Wu Huan Yu. Hearing her sing is a pleasure. Wu Huan Yu is gorgeous and sings very well, that's why people like her, but my favorite is still Yu Chen. Wang Yu Chen has a unique voice too. 
Although she's a girl, she has an amazing husky voice. The fans continued discussing their favorite singers. Although they had many varying opinions, it was a friendly and intellectual discussion. They talked and laughed as they waited for time to pass. Lin Fan had his own idols too, but the celebrities that he liked had all grown old. Some had even passed away and some had retired. However, whenever they appeared in a movie, Lin Fan would still buy a ticket to show his support. At 6.30 p.m. In the venue. Lin Fan found his seat by the side of the stage. In front of the stage were four chairs, which belonged to the judging panel. The place was filled with people and everyone was awaiting the start of the competition. At this moment, the mentors stepped into the scene, causing a surge of excitement throughout the stadium. The first mentor was Chi Ming, a pioneer of the music industry. Although he was already in his 60s, he was young at heart and was dressed fashionably for the occasion. The second mentor was Zhou Hai Tao, 40 years of age. Many of his songs were classics. Even at 40, he was still very popular, performing in at least 10 concerts a year. The third mentor was Ng Jean, 50 years of age. In her prime, she was considered to be an empress of the music industry. Now, she mainly appeared as a judge at many big events. She was very popular as a mentor. The fourth mentor was Zhuo Ting Fei and he wasn't a singer, but a lyricist. Many widely praised classics were composed by him. Even now, most of the songs sung by the emperors and empresses of the music industry were written by him. To outsiders, he may not have been well known, but in the music industry, he was worshipped. At exactly 7 p.m., the new voice officially began. Roaring cheers filled the place as the host, Yi Ming, stepped on stage. Lin Fan was seated below and couldn't help glancing left and right. It was his first time spectating such an event and he was rather excited. After the formalities were carried out, the contestants went on stage two at a time and performed a song each. Afterward, the mentors judged them and decided their fates. Those who advanced rejoiced, while those who failed struggled to hold their tears. Some of them even got emotional and let their tears flow freely. This kind of competition was rather cruel. However, Lin Fan was in admiration of the four mentors, who, judging by their facial expressions, fully immersed themselves in the sounds of the songs. Backstage Wu Huan Yu was feeling nervous. She slowly adjusted her emotions to prepare herself. The organizing committee had already informed her that it would be her turn soon. The contestant that she was up against was also a female singer. Her looks weren't as stunning as Wu Huan Yu's, but she was still a very good dot looking lady. The host said, Let's welcome the next two contestants on stage. The ethereal contestant Wu Huan Yu and emotional contestant Wang Yu Chin. Who will advance? Let us find out. It was finally time. Lin Fan roused himself up. He was here to watch Wu Huan Yu perform and she was about to step on stage, so naturally, he was in eager anticipation. However, the first to step on stage was the emotional singer, Wang Yu Chen. Then, it began. As Wang Yu Chen opened her mouth, the mentors were in astonishment. Zhou Hai Tao exclaimed, This is an original song. Zhuo Ting Fei's eyes were shut as he gently nodded his head as if he was completely immersed in the lyrics and music. Ying Jin grinned. She was clearly delighted at the song. At this moment, the audience went completely silent as everyone was entranced by the music. This was the first original song on The New Voice, because they were judged on this show for their singing ability and not on their creativity. Lin Fan nodded. This lady was pretty impressive. However, towards the end of the song, even someone like Lin Fan, who knew nothing about music, could tell that she went out of tune for a moment. Then, she went back in tune. Lin Fan thought this lady sang very well, but due to that moment of mistake, he knew that Wu Huan Yu would surely advance as long as she performed to her usual standard. The song ended. Wang Yu Chen was a bundle of nerves. 
she almost felt like crying and couldn't believe that she had gone out of tune. Zhou Hai Tao said, what a shame. Ying Jin looked over and said, I still think she's something special. Then, Wu Huan Yu stepped on stage. L.C.A. song that wasn't too old. Rode in the distance, when Wu Huan Yu saw Lin Fan seated below the stage, she let out a smile, then began singing. An ethereal sound filled the ears of the audience. Qi Ming kept nodding his head. Her voice was brilliant. Although she didn't use various techniques, her voice was still very impressive. Lin Fan sat in his seat as he listened intently. This sound was amazing. Everything was perfect. Then, the song ended. The stadium was filled with roaring applause. Huan Yu was awesome. Yeah. Her voice was so refreshing, it felt as if my body was being purified. Wu Huan Yu was even better than Wang Yu Chen. It's clear who will advance. Wu Huan Yu sang better than Wang Yu Chen. On top of that, Wang Yu Chen even went out of tune. Surely it will be Wu Huan Yu who advances. Then, the host, Yi Ming, stepped on stage. Thank you, Wu Huan Yu. Wu Huan Yu faced the crowd and mentors and took a bow, thank you. Yi Ming then said, Now, let's welcome Wang Yu Chen back on stage. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Ting Fei in such a dilemma. Mr. Zhou Hai Tao, if you were the main assessor for today, who would you pick as your winner? Chapter 90 How unreasonable you are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator Sparrow Translations Editor Sparrow Translations The place was in complete silence. Everyone was awaiting Zhou Hai Tao's decision. The judging panel Zhou Hai Tao looked like he was in a dilemma. This is the first time I've had my eyes closed throughout a performance. Wang Yu Chen's singing expressed so much emotion. It was an exquisite performance. Today has been your best performance so far. With a dignified expression, Wang Yu Chen took a bow. Zhou Hai Tao continued with her critique, Wu Huan Yu's voice is one that I like very much. An ethereal voice, which makes listeners feel as if they are floating in a blue sky. If I had to choose, I would choose Wu Huan Yu as my winner. After he finished speaking, the crowd erupted in cheers. It seemed Wu Huan Yu was the crowd favorite. Wu Huan Yu couldn't stop smiling, thank you, mentor. Host Yi Ming then said, Mr. Zhuo Ting Fei. Zhuo Ting Fei was in deep thought for a moment, in terms of the song choice for today, I reckon Wang Yu Chen was better. That original song was very compatible with her voice. On the other hand, Wu Huan Yu performed very well too, but she didn't deviate at all from the original version of Road in the Distance. That was my only disappointment. If I were to choose, I would choose Wang Yu Chen. Wang Yu Chen, who had a grave expression the whole time, let out a joyous smile at that moment. Thank you, mentor. Zhuo Ting Fei smiled, Sister Ying, what do you think? Mentor Ying Jin was the only female among the four mentors. She held the microphone in her hands, if I were to compare the quality of their voices, both of them are equal. Wu Huan Yu's voice has an ethereal element to it. Among all the contestants. Heck, even among professional singers, Wu Huan Yu's voice is the purest. However, in terms of song choice, Wang Yu Chen takes the cake. That original song had beautiful lyrics. It was a very emotional performance. That's why I pick Wang Yu Chen. Wang Yu Chen grinned, thank you, mentor. The audience was displeased. They admitted that Wang Chen Yu sang very well and that her creativity was brilliant too, but she had gone out of tune, how could Wu Huan Yu have lost to that? In the online live broadcast comments section, the viewers were starting to cause an uproar too. F asterisk King Hell, these mentors must be deaf. She clearly was out of tune, but they didn't even mention it. They even complimented her so much. If that song was really composed by Wang Yu Chin herself, I would eat sh asterisk T on camera. Wu Huan Yu, please advance. 
If she doesn't advance, I'll never watch this trashy show again. F asterisk CK off. Mai Yu Chen is a real talent. She's not someone who Wu Huan Yu can compare with. Everybody stop arguing. Mentor Qi Ming hasn't even given her critique yet. He's known for being unbiased. May Buddha bless us. Please let our Huan Yu advance. If Mentor Qi Ming supports Huan Yu, I will be his fanboy for the rest of my life. Lin Fan, who was seated below the stage, just blinked his eyes. Where did these judges come from? Are their ears spoiled? They couldn't even tell that Wang Yu Chen went out of tune and even keep nodding in approval. That's messed up. Lin Fan glanced left and right. There was nobody looking. He lowered his head and yelled, Let Wu Huan Yu advance. With that, Wu Huan Yu's supporters erupted. The whole stadium was filled with roaring chants. Let Wu Huan Yu advance. Let Wu Huan Yu advance. Advance. Wu Huan Yu took a bow. Wang Yu Chen looked calm, but on the inside, she was unhappy. Ying Jin looked displeased too, but then she quickly covered that displeasure with a smile. The host was in charge of the event. In such a situation, he had to step in. Yi Ming smiled, everyone, please be quiet. We still have mentor Qi Ming to give his critique. Mentor Qi Ming, who had been quiet the whole time, finally opened his mouth. I support Wu Huan Yu's advancement. Her singing moved me. It was perfection. There was a roaring applause. The fans were exhilarated. Dotting Jin giggled, Mentor Qi Ming, Wu Huan Yu was indeed brilliant, but so was Wang Yu Chen. Mentor Qi Ming opened his mouth again, Wang Yu Chen was not bad but she went out of tune at that last part. If you go out of tune, it doesn't matter how well you sang before anymore, it's all useless. Lin Fan nodded. This mentor Qi Ming was indeed as the netizens had said. Fair and unbiased. Ying Jin furrowed her brows and then smiled again, although she went out of tune, this originality of hers more than makes up for it. The good outweighed the bad. Mentor Qi Ming shook his head as if he had no respect for Ying Jin. Then, he started to speak like he was educating his junior, he said, Ying Jin, your reasoning is flawed. This show is called The New Voice, not The New Composer. What we are judging are their voices and their singing ability. Singing an original song doesn't earn bonus points, nor does it make up for mistakes. Applause the applause was thunderous. The audience was in agreement with mentor Qi Ming. Ever since Ying Jin had turned into an empress in the musical world, she had attended many events as a judge, but this was the first time that someone was opposing her. However, the person opposing her was Qi Ming. Even if she was unhappy, she didn't dare to express it any further. She then laughed it off and kept quiet. As the host, Yi Ming knew that he couldn't let these two mentors quarrel any further, so he immediately intervened. All right, it's now time for our 99 media representatives to vote. Red is for Wang Yu Chen. Black is for Wu Huan Yu. Very quickly, the votes added up. Wang Yu Chen has 48 votes. Wu Huan Yu has 51 votes, announced Yi Ming. Wang Yu Chen's heart sank. However, she still had a little hope. The four mentors stood up. Ying Jin was smiling, but she was very displeased. The difference is three votes. This three-dot vote gap can be widened or reversed with the scoring in Sister Ying's envelope. The result will be decided by that score. Sister Ying, please bring us the envelope. The stadium was filled with cheers. Ying Jin walked up onto the stage with a smile on her face and handed the envelope to host Yi Ming. Thank you, Sister Ying. Currently, Wang Yu Chen has 48 votes and Wu Huan Yu is leading by 3, with 51 votes. Yi Ming opened the envelope. Wang Yu Chen and Wu Huan Yu both held their breaths in. They were both extremely tense. Heck, even Lin Fan was nervous. Host Yi Ming looked at the score. Then his eyes widened, Sister Ying's final score for Wang Yuchen is. 
Lin Fan started to curse. Does this host have to take so d asterisk mn long? Even the live broadcast viewers were cursing. God d asterisk mn, those media representatives are also idiots. How could it be that the vote difference is only three? This must be scripted. If it was up to me, the difference would be at least ten votes. It's over. Anyone can tell that Jean is clearly on Wang Yuchen's side. If the decision is reversed, I'll smash my screen immediately. Then, the host opened his mouth. 51 points. Wu Huan Yu gets 48 points. Wang Yu Chen has a final score of 99 points and Wu Huan Yu also has 99 points. This is the first draw in the new voice history. At that moment, the fans went crazy. The netizens watching the live broadcast also went crazy. That must have been staged. F asterisk King Hell, that in Jin's ear must be spoiled or something. I won't settle for this bullsh asterisk T. F asterisk CK, I've broken my screen already. Lin Fan was stunned. This was outrageous. It was clearly some kind of dirty trick. Mentor Chi Ming was even more enraged. He glared at Ying Jin. His face had turned black. Then, something happened that made the whole place erupt. Mentor Chi Ming slammed the microphone on the judge's table. He snorted, then turned and left. Even though not a single word was said, everyone could tell that he was furious. After he left. Sh asterisk T dot mentor Chi Ming is mad. That Ying Jin thinks she's so great, to be able to cheat everyone. Other people may buy her bullsh asterisk T, but mentor Chi Ming won't have it. Mentor Chi Ming is a man of action. He doesn't give a d asterisk mn if this is being broadcasted. Lin Fan shook his head. Wu Huan Yu was still maintaining her smile on stage, but she was very discontent on the inside. At least it was a draw. There was still a chance. However, the organizing staff was at a loss. They had to conclude the show somehow. 